Hi, so it is the, I can't think of the date, the 11th of November. It's a Saturday and I didn't do my normal gym class this morning, the gymnastics. I really wanted to wake up early and get some podcast recording done, but I didn't actually end up doing that because I needed to go to our new house to measure the space for the fridge so that Steve can do some research on fridges today. Um, he's at work so when he has any downtime because I know nothing about fridges um, except how I would like one to look from the outside but besides that I don't really know much Um, and then I just ended up spending a couple of hours there with Steve's mum and we were just sort of planning what to do or what we could do what Steve and I could do with the curtains because I was telling her that I feel like the curtains they have hideous old like bright green and yellow curtains and it just really dates it and really makes it feel like it's not my home because I would never choose those curtains um so we were just sort of planning what to do in all the different rooms and holding things up and I want to go to Ikea this afternoon so I'm going with Marina Um, she's going to be living there as well but just to have a look at curtains and then I'm not planning to buy anything else I really just want to take photos of everything there's a new Ikea that's just opened up on this side of the city so it's only I think about a 25 minute drive so I just want to take photos of things and then if I like them enough to go back then go back because I know I can get a bit caught up in Ikea hype because I love it in there I love Scandinavian style and they just make everything look amazing but I really want to do my research and make sure I'm buying the things that I want so that's what I'm doing this afternoon I've just finished writing this week's blog post which is about how to stay sane while moving house and I'm just basically showing the things I'm going to be focusing on over the next couple of weeks I've just written the email for this week as well um, and I'm just about to have some lunch I don't know if I said but it's about two o'clock so it's been a really productive and really good day Um, I've just been so glad now that when I'm working I'm really working and trying to work quickly instead of focusing on the amount of time I'm spending focusing on the results and the pace and instead of being like I worked for eight hours today thinking what did I produce Um, and you know it's obviously better to spend one hour writing a blog post and like really concentrating and focusing than three hours and half of that time I'm like looking at Instagram and doing whatever so yeah that's something I've been learning in self-coaching scholars so that has been awesome too yeah I really didn't want to talk much last night because I was so pooped and just not in the mood and I was saying to Steve like I've been so excited about the house um and I like probably didn't really sound excited at all in the video last night even though the settlement had finally gone through but I've been so excited and then last night is like as soon as it's now ours and we went with Steve's um, cousins and auntie and uncle to show them the house um we like my mind was just thinking about all the practical things and it was I found I found it really hard to sleep last night like I was just constantly thinking and then looking on Pinterest which wouldn't have helped because the bright light does not help you sleep um but yeah so I'm kind of at the stage now where it's exciting and now it's also like the practical stuff even though there was some of that when we were buying the house obviously now it's like really little things that you don't really think about um like the practicalities of living somewhere and there's a lot of decisions to be made about um like curtains for one like every little thing is a decision which is so exciting um but then also a lot for the brain to work through. So I didn't sound excited last night. I didn't feel excited really last night. I just felt not overwhelmed. I definitely don't feel overwhelmed about it, but just thinking like, um, yeah, my brain's just thinking through everything. So that's been, that's been good. I am so excited so excited to go to Ikea this afternoon I was thinking of filming it but I feel like I really just want to like be there and enjoy it if that makes sense so I don't know I'll have my phone with me obviously um 
but yeah I'm just really keen to like get this which I've never actually potted into a pot to put this somewhere <sighs> to get a new desk this shitty black glass one which drives me nuts because it's always super dirty looking because of the glass <sighs> I'm just so excited so excited so yeah I might talk to you later I might not I'm not sure but that's really all I'm thinking about actually I'm gonna open this now the curated closet which I got from book depository um, a couple of days ago now actually being really proud of myself <laughs> that I can like get things in the mail and then I don't open them for a little bit. Um, it kind of just keeps the anticipation going, if that makes sense. And um, I'm really excited to just, <sighs> gotta get in. Oh my God, I can't do this with my hand. Um, I'm really excited to just get into the book and to really start um, figuring out my clothing situation and my personal style because I feel like I have none whatsoever. <laughs> like I'm constantly like, what are you wearing? <laughs> so I'm just really excited to resolve that and to get some solid advice. Um, and I'm also excited to be, <gasps> to be supporting a blogger who has a book and it's a beautiful book. So the curated closet. I'm very like how pretty does that look so yeah I'm just going to be checking that out oh my god it's like the prettiest book her blog's really pretty and it just looks like her blog this is my dream not to have one about clothes because I could not fill a book up about that but to really one day have something physical like this so Good for her. I'm really happy to be supporting someone who has created this. So yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, I don't know if I'll, um, if I will vlog at IKEA. Also, I just wanted to mention that some of you guys have been saying that you really find it hard to keep up with everything I've been making, which first of all makes me feel really proud that, um, I'm finally at a point where I'm consistently producing content because for a long time that just wasn't a thing. I put out like one blog post per couple of months and I never ever received any kind of email saying that people couldn't keep up. All I got was you guys saying that you wanted more and some of you are still saying that but I'm getting these emails saying, you know, there's a a vlog and a podcast and a blog post and an email and Instagram and I just am struggling to keep up and I really just want to say that I like to think of it like I assume that you guys like you all have preferences whether you like podcasts blogs whatever blog posts um and it's more so that there's something for everyone and I know some of you guys like a lot of those things and if you like what I do, which makes me so happy that you do, that you want to um, keep up with what I'm creating, but please think of it more as a buffet and just take what you're interested in than um, thinking of it as a, like you have to have everything. Oh, Steve's just messaging me because I told him I'm going to Ikea. He's like, what are you buying? Um, Anyway, <laughs> so um, yeah, just if you're struggling to keep up, don't feel like you have to. Um, a lot of what I say is repeated in different places and I don't know, like I just watch YouTube and podcasts in the background. So I personally don't find it really hard to keep up with YouTube um, and podcasts just because I do consume quite a lot of it but I don't I never pay really 100% attention like if I was watching this I would be cleaning at the same time or um, editing a photo or doing something and just yeah I don't know I'm not like sitting down with a pen and paper so um, yeah either like find a way to incidentally consume things like um, I don't know multitasking I guess 
or just accept that you don't need to actually consume everything I put out and it's valuable even I hope even if you're just having little chunks here and there so a lot of my favorite people on YouTube I don't watch every single video I just watch the ones that look interesting and I'm sure I miss out on some things that are interesting that's all right I'm okay with that so, so anyway I just thought I'd share that because I've been getting the emails but yeah I will talk to you later maybe actually I pr I'm probably just not gonna vlog anything at Ikea and maybe if I go back and buy things then I'll vlog it then but yeah I will talk to you tomorrow <laughs>